Tonight, we continue to follow the latest in the deadly crash involving bicyclists in the West Valley. Two cyclists are dead and several others are in the hospital. After police say the driver of a pickup hit a large cycling group in Goodyear Saturday morning. The driver is now facing a long list of charges. And tonight, we're hearing from one of the cyclists who was hit. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live from the Goodyear Police Department with the new developments. Bianca? Yeah, guys, this man and says he and his friends have been visiting their fellow cyclists in multiple hospitals, hoping they all make full recoveries after two have already passed away. 17 years I've been part of West Valley Cycling. And in 17 years, he never thought he'd be here. We visited our friends today in hospital and they're fighting. Stephen Rowe knows that could have been him too. I remember it all. On Saturday morning, just before eight o'clock, his cycling group of about 20 people were biking on the Cotton Lane Bridge in Goodyear when police say a man driving a Ford F-250 plowed into the back of the group. What actually struck me wasn't the truck, it was the actual bodies and bike parts that were being pushed up from behind into me. Another bicyclist, Paul Tyson, was just a few minutes behind. I just saw chaos, carnage. 19 cyclists were hurt, 11 hospitalized, with one still in critical condition. Sadly, two didn't survive the impact. 61-year-old Karen Melissa, a wife and mother in Goodyear, was one of them. I knew Karen pretty well. I rode with her a lot. Yeah, she's an amazing person, former teacher from the West Valley, and she's a, a very positive, jovial, happy person. The other, 65-year-old David Caro from Michigan, visiting the Valley with family. It was one of those visitors that was just here for um, spring training and heard about the group and decided, hey, I want to ride because I've heard about this group. The suspect, 26-year-old Pedro Quintana, faces manslaughter, aggravated assault, and endangerment charges. This is a terrible accident, a tragic accident. According to court records, Quintana said he felt his steering wheel lock and he started to drift to the right. Then when he heard a sound similar to metal, he let off the gas and regained control, turned left, and stopped. Court records say he continued from the bike path to the second lane for over 400 Hundred feet before breaking. There's no intentional act here. As this tight knit community tries to cope with the trauma, they're urging drivers to stay alert so nothing like this happens again. We have family just like you, and and uh, we need to be seen as as that. And police say there is no evidence to show that this was intentional in any way, and they're still waiting on a blood test to confirm whether or not impairment was a factor here. Now, a GoFundMe page has been set up to help the many, many victims in this case. You can find a link to donate to that on our website, 12news.com. We're live in Goodyear tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News. Bianca, thanks.